less than two weeks, NYU's class of 2014 is no longer going to be students. They're going to be alumni, and this comes with its own set of trials and tribulations. I'm here to meet with three Chinese students who are looking to make it in the Big Apple post-grad. For Ava Zhao, Marissa Chen, and Arthur Zhao, making the grade is no longer their first priority. Now, it's all about making a living. The soon-to-be grad started NYU back in 2010, filled with hope, anticipation, and excitement. Fast forward four years, and they're bringing that same enthusiasm into their future plans. I'm hopeful and very excited, yeah, because this is a very promising startup. I've been with them for about two years, and uh, I see it in my future. I got an offer one month ago, so I'm all settled for the summer. Um, it's very likely to turn into a full-time afterwards, so I'm really excited about the job and just getting everything ready. I'm going to continue looking for jobs because currently I don't have one lining up. Hailing from Dalian, Shanghai, and Ningbo, Marissa, Ava, and Arthur help make up nearly 20% of Asian students at NYU and the second highest number of international students at university in the U.S. Although they chose to study abroad, it was China's strong emphasis on education that set them up for success in the Big Apple's classrooms. The local education is more focused on the academic side. Um, so that prepared me a very solid foundation and that enabled me to um, go for the hard courses here at Stern. And their connections to both cultures is what's going to make them stand out in a city of recent grads. I'm from China, so I see the states and see the PR campaigns here from a very different perspective. And I've traveled around the world. That's what I can bring to table, just a different mindset, a different cultural understanding. If for my startup, if they want to expand in China, I'm probably going to be the first person to make the contact. And actually, I have been helping them to order um, specific parts in China and the negotiation with the Chinese vendors. Because I grew up in Shanghai, it's, um, it's a lot like New York City. It's, uh, it's metropolitics, it's really international, it's, um, a lot is going on in both cities. I think that's um, you know, what makes me unique than other people because I grew up in two. I mean, I, I spent most of my lives in, 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 in an you know, international city and then now I'm here. With American companies working so closely with China, a return home may not be far off for these soon-to-be alumni. I don't really have a specific timeline for how long I will stay in the United States. I guess it really depends on the opportunity. So for for the time being, I found my opportunity in the, in the United States. But if, say, in the future, I found a better opportunity, say my company is expanding to China, I will go to China. For now, I plan to stay here and work as, at least for two to three years. And afterwards, I want to just go with the flow, kind of. Um, just go where opportunities take me. NYU's undergraduate commencement is scheduled for May 20th at Yankee Stadium. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.